Okay, so we've reached the end of SED 407. And one thing that I've really learned is to not assume that students have the literacy skills that I'm looking for by the high school level, specifically in, you know, in regards to science and scientific literature. So really what I should be doing is incorporating literacy skills into my science classroom to foster their development. Growing up, my dad would always tell me how important writing was and I would argue with him like, I'm a STEM major, dad, when am I ever gonna have to write a five page paper? I was wrong. Reading and writing skills are super important across all subject domains. And as a science teacher, I want to ensure that my students feel comfortable breaking down a text, writing, collaborating, um, and breaking any stereotype that STEM majors can't write. Science equals literacy. Literacy equals science. These two things do not need to be mutually exclusive. I also learned that teaching literacy skills and breaking down vocabulary doesn't need to be a chore. In my observations, teachers were using poetry, songs, skits, all sorts of creative outlets in the science classroom that I previously hadn't considered and that I would like to incorporate someday in the future. Overall, I learned how to make lessons more diverse, how to cater to more learning styles and English language learners, how to incorporate new digital technologies, how to practice mindfulness and make sure students are present and focused. Um, and most importantly, how to alter the structure of my classroom so that students are constantly freely reading, writing, speaking, collaborating, improving, and developing skills that are going to benefit them both inside and outside of the classroom. So thank you so much for this diverse array of knowledge. I really enjoyed this course.